Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Okay, and hello, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, hi again. Yeah, hi again. Okay, so we have a different student here, right? Hello, Chang. Can you hear me? Yes, it's me again. It's Jennifer. Oh! Did you change your name or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I use another account. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, hello again, Jennifer and Jasmine. So I hope that this time you'll be able to, you know, interact more with each other. So just listen and then you can have, you know, some questions and express your opinions. Okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So again, I'll be showing you our vocabulary first since you already know me. And here, can you please take a look? Let me divide there. Hey, can you see the vocabulary? I sent nine. Okay. So my my question went. Yes, I can see it. Okay, what about you, Jasmine? Yeah, Alright, now please take a look at all the vocabulary and please tell me if you have any questions. How, how would they start their conversation? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. None, okay. And what about Jasmine? Uh, okay, so my start. Okay, great. So if you understand all the vocabulary already, then let's hop right in and let's have our discussion, part two, for this afternoon. And our topic will be living forever. So first question, would you like to live forever? Let me start with you, Jasmine. I want you to take your time, okay? <laughs> Uh, no, of course. I think that I will treasure more every day I have if I know that I have just uh, have one life to live and some, and uh, in one day maybe I will die and leave everything here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree. What about you, Jennifer? What's your opinion about that? Uh, yes, actually, I, I have, I concur with uh, Jasmine that I don't want to live forever, because uh, I think that um, if we're gonna live forever, then we're not gonna treasure all of our moments. So I think that um, we should uh, just only live for like uh, some years, not forever. Okay, I agree with the two of you as well, but um, let's just, you know, pretend, just imagine that we have eternal life, we're immortal, let's pretend. Okay, so let me ask you Jennifer first, and uh, what do you think would you do if you're immortal? Um, okay, so let me think, if I, uh, if I immer immortal, so uh, immortal. Can you say that um, again? Sorry? Immortal. Im immortal. That's right. Okay. Okay. So just imagine if I immortal. So I think that um, I'm gonna... I don't know. I think that uh, it's just like I'm gonna work and I'm gonna spend all of my life working and traveling. Just, just work? Like yes, because I don't know uh, what else and I think that our life cannot, um, I think that uh, I cannot survive without uh, money and uh -huh. food and necessary yeah. things. So I think that I have to work and then okay. I will um, save money for traveling. Like okay, alright. So thanks for that. Now let me ask Jasmine, the same question first, and then I want you to give, you know, your opinions to each other's question. I mean, answer, okay? <laughs> All right, so Jasmine, hello. Yeah. So what about you? Just pretend that you're immortal. So what would you do if you are? You know, 
Um, I suppose that if I can live this life for good, mm -hmm. of course I will enjoy my life better. Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays when we know that we have, uh, we all have limited time, mm -hmm. so we have to focus on what we need to do, and we always have to be put under enormous pressure, mm -hmm. such as ha having to have a steady job or uh, maybe have a good career path or something like that mm -hmm. so we don't have enough time to enjoy this life this beautiful life so if I can uh, have an immortal life of course I will uh, spend more time playing instead of studying and working all the time <laughs> okay yeah. Maybe All right, that's I will, uh, maybe I will start to work at the age of uh, 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so thanks for that. That's funny. Now, let thank you for that, Jasmine. Now, Jennifer, so what can you say about, you know, Jasmine's answer? Okay, so, uh, yeah, I, I really, I, I think it's really interesting because uh, she said that instead of studying and working, she can uh, play more right. and spend uh, more quality time with uh, her family and friends. And I think uh, that's such a uh, really, um, how to say, really uh, good idea and very interesting. And okay, so uh, for me, uh, um, besides of working in just only a same field, if I have immortal ability, so I think that I should um, try myself in different fields, just like uh, in music for something, or in science, or um, construction like that. So yeah, I will try myself in a lot of fields too. Okay. I will um, spend my time traveling every uh, every corner in the world okay that's <laughs> yeah that's a good one as well because i think you like to work a lot <laughs> okay. really, but uh, really. i love my salary <laughs> ah okay i get that <laughs> all right so thanks for that jennifer now let's hear it from jasmine what about you what do you think of the idea of jennifer uh, yes, I also actually uh, love that as I'm really into traveling and maybe I will spend at least 100 years to, uh, to travel and meet new people so I can mm -hmm. expand my friend circle. Uh, in addition, I also want to spend more time learning uh, different skills. Learning. Yeah. Uh, learning different skills as I suppose that I have a lot of time so I can spend a uh, different period period of my time mm -hmm. learning different things mm -hmm. and improving myself okay so thanks for that and I think I like both your answers and maybe if given the chance I would also do the same so now thank you for that Jasmine and I think I will start with you with my next question so if you could choose only two, only two people, like in your life, who do you want to be immortal? Uh, choose two people? Yes, only two people. Of course, not including yourself. Uh, uh, of course, my parents. Okay. Can you tell me why or tell us why? Uh, yeah, because I, I, I think that everyone wants to live with their, with his or her parents all the time so <laughs> they can be protected and supported, especially whenever, uh, whenever he or she need, uh, miss difficulties or mm -hmm. have any adversities in life, yeah. we still can uh, ask our parents for that? help whenever we need okay. uh, for that reason I always want to uh, live with my parents yeah. uh, until I die <laughs> um, can I ask you a question how old are your parents now uh, they are over 50 
Oh, okay. So we wish them, you know, longer lives, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so thanks for that. Jasmine, oh, please wait for me a little bit. What about you, Jennifer? Who are those uh, two people? Yes. Okay, so I think uh, this is really hard. But uh, before uh, before I answer this question, I think that uh, if I have an uh, immortal life, uh, maybe I will invite uh, both of you to travel with me. Because I, I heard that uh, both of you have the, um, like both of you opt for traveling. So yeah, I, I think that I will invite uh, both of you to travel with me when uh, we a hundred years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, okay, so um, two people that I really want to stay with me. I think um, uh, actually I have the same idea with uh, Jasmine. That is uh, that are my parents. Um, so uh, now I still under uh, under my parents' control. Um, how to say my parents are helicopter parents and they they really want to observe me all the time they want to know uh what um what am i doing uh what am i uh, opting, opting for and so on so um but i think that I think that they are really meaningful for me because mm -hmm. they're gonna give me a lot of suggestion and even uh, really helpful recommendations that I can apply in my life and I yeah. can solve a lot of problems uh, due to those um, recommendations no. uh, like that. So I think that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, opt for my parents uh, to be immortal. <laughs> yeah, to be immortal with oh, okay. me. Okay. So thanks for that, um, Jennifer, and also thanks for inviting us <laughs> to travel when you, with you when maybe we become Thank 100. <laughs> but maybe I'll go first. <laughs> okay, um, Jasmine, do you want to travel with Jennifer as well when you turn, when you both turn into uh, maybe 100 years old? Yes, definitely. Okay. I think it's turn to be really fun okay. mm -hmm. and happy when I can travel with uh, two of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you think, Jennifer, what, I mean, sorry, Jasmine, what do you think can the three of us do <laughs> when we travel? Yeah. <laughs> That's well, 100 uh, years old. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps we will uh, travel to all countries all over the <laughs> world. We also can fly down about their tradition and culture we also can try different adventurous games together yeah. yeah that's right okay thanks for that and what about you jennifer what do you think can we we do at 100 years old okay so i think that we should uh we should travel to uh, some countries that they have the snow and then we're gonna travel uh, in the winter and then okay. we ski so uh, the other people will say that oh uh, three three hundred um, three a hundred ladies are skiing <laughs> so yeah it's okay. really cool then so um if uh instead of just only uh, lying at home mm -hmm. and then uh, chatting through our screen so yes. we can travel and okay. skiing um, because uh, Vietnam, um, Vietnam doesn't doesn't have uh, snow, so but it's really rarely. It's just only in uh, uh, Sapa area or like really rare. So I think that I should uh, try to ski one time because I yeah. really like um, adventurous sports. <laughs> okay, all right. So thanks for that. I think you both like to really travel a lot and. Maybe yes, I can join with you. <laughs> All right, so thanks for that. And now this time I think I would give the chance to you first. I want you first, um, Jasmine, to ask any question to Jennifer if you have, like about being immortal or anything that you want to ask. Uh, okay, actually I see that there is oh, one problem that we didn't pay attention to. Mm -hmm. That is, we, we, even we have a long life to live, but uh, I mean how we can have a huge amount of money to travel in 100 years. Yeah, 
Great. So, but uh, let's ask Jennifer. Okay. Um. So, I think that the answer for this uh, is just uh, we have to work. Uh, we have to work uh, diligently, and we have to um, save our money uh, effectively, so mm -hmm. that we can, so that we can uh, save uh, that huge amount of money to travel together. And also, um, also, I I have uh, another question for uh, for Jasmine too. Like. Um, how can we keep ourselves healthy until a hundred years old for traveling? <laughs> right. Uh, uh, in my point of view, uh, when we travel a lot like that, we also have to go on foot and go to different places. Mm -hmm. And that is one kind of exercise, you know, and we will not uh, put on weight. I, I think so. Oh, so that uh, I really think so too. And um, I think that we should uh, eat a lot of um, vegetables, <laughs> like the news always tell us like yeah. that. Uh, eat a lot of vegetables and even uh, use some um, some kind of uh, medicine. But it's not really uh, the cure medicine. It's just the medicine for uh, 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 it's vitamins. Mean, Supplement, yeah, oh, the, supplement. The, yes, the, the supplement for okay. us to uh, keep us uh, stronger okay. and uh, prettier, like that. Yeah, and if, <laughs> and if I know uh, the the effective supplement, mm -hmm. I'm gonna introduce to both of you so that okay. we can keep our, uh, our physical health uh, strong enough yeah. for a hundred years old. <laughs> okay, great. So thanks for that and thanks for always remembering the two of us. Okay, and I just like to listen to the two of you. <laughs> All right, so you actually shared great, you know, great opinions and also questions. Yeah. All right, now let me ask another question. Um, Jennifer, please wait for me. Let me ask Jasmine first, okay? okay. So Jasmine, you know, um, being immortal and everything has its own advantage and disadvantage. Now, can you please tell me what are the what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of being immortal? Jasmine, you first. Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose that there are several advantages that I can mention right now if mm -hmm. we can live for good. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if people have a long life, they can do anything they want mm -hmm. without being afraid of dying. Mm -hmm. They also can enjoy this beautiful life, beautiful life more by traveling to different destinations, mm -hmm. meeting new people, and uh, creating a different beautiful memories with others. Mm -hmm. um, I also uh, think that if we can live, we, if we can have an immortal ability, mm -hmm. we. Uh, also can uh, help other people and uh, as well as find out more things about this world such mm -hmm. as exploring some yeah. new places yeah um, and uh, on the other hand when it comes to the disadvantages of being immortal I suppose that people have to be brave and strong enough to overcome different challenges, difficulties yes. and adversities in life. You know there are many people who find it so difficult to live this life even they know that maybe they will die at the age of 100. Mm -hmm. uh, for that reason, they choose to live just one life. They don't really love this life and enjoy every moment yeah. when they live. Uh, yeah, and I think that is uh, the advantages and disadvantages that I can think of right now. All right, thanks for that, and I I would agree. Now let me hear it, or let's hear it from Jennifer. So what about you? Do you agree with Jasmine, or can you add more? Yes, I I do I do agree with uh, Jasmine. Like uh, she really uh, she gave a really detailed answer, and uh, so I I agree. And 
and people said that we just only live once yeah. and so we have to treasure our life now every moment every uh, even down even ups and downs moment um because because uh every everything that we experience gonna give us experiences and yeah. we gonna take those experiences into our life and we can uh, better it um in the future in the near future Correct. and so on i think um if we uh if we are not if we are not immortal so we gonna treasure more the people uh standing standing next to us because um i saw i saw a lot of uh, situations and even i watched a lot of videos mm -hmm. that um some children they uh they really regret when their uh, relatives or even Die. their people are gone. Yeah, so uh. because they said that they didn't uh, treasure the moments that uh, they are spending together and then when that person or that people gone, uh, they passed away. So the children, um, the, the, yeah, the children, just uh, only yeah. the position, uh, yeah. the children gonna feel really uh, upset and even really uh, down in the dumb and regret uh, as okay. well. Uh, so I think that um, uh, to be not immortal is really uh, an advantage. Uh, it's really an advantage because like we gonna we gonna love and appreciate more uh, our moments and even our. Uh, pe uh, our uh, beloved ones. Mm, that's right. I agree. Okay, so thank you, both of you again. Well, I just, yeah, I don't know, but I just really like to listen to all your answers because they just make sense. And I agree with you as well, Jennifer, that maybe mm, Jasmine would also agree, right? That we just, you know, regret not loving or not showing love to our parents, especially when they're just, they're gone, right? Yes. Okay, now let me ask you just one question. Um, I think, Jasmine, let me ask you first. Who do you know? I mean, who's someone that you know is very old already? The oldest person you know until um, now. Now? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe my uh, grandfather. He is, old. Uh, yeah. Uh, he is uh, 95 years old. Wow, yeah. 95, okay. And what about you, Jennifer? Uh, so I think as my grandmother, she's, <laughs> uh, she's uh, over 80 now. Oh, grandpa and grandpa, okay. All right, and do you have any idea how they, you know, how they grow up until now? <laughs> how are they still alive until now? What are their secrets? Let me start with you, Jennifer. Yes. Okay, so I think that um, their secret is uh, our uh, is us, like uh, my relatives and even me. Uh, like we spend the love for them, and then we uh, usually spend time for them too. So I think uh, that is why uh, they still live. Uh, I think that is why she still lives until now. Oh, and, um, and yeah, I, I really want to ask uh, Jasmine too. Like, um, do you do you spend a lot of time uh, with your grandfather? Yes, great question, Jasmine. Uh, yeah. As I know, my grandfather often spend time uh, doing different physical activities to maintain a good health. Uh, he also tried to eat different nutrient-rich food. So he, uh, nutritious food. Yes, nutritious food. Uh, so he can have that good health. Yeah. Okay, so do you also like um, spend time with your grandfather just like what Jennifer is doing? Uh, yes. Okay, and do you think that's also one of the reasons why your grandfather is still alive until now? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, because they are your grand, I mean they are their granddaughters and I think family, the love of the family keeps them going <laughs> correct yeah i think so yeah so thank you so much 
Aw, our time is almost up, but still, thank you so much, Jennifer and Jasmine. And I am so happy to talk to you again. So, hope to talk to you again next time and enjoy the rest of the day. Hope you stay here with us in B2. Stay strong. Bye-bye.